Hello, hello! Back again today we solve another small problem for you. First thing is that you buy my sound adjustment kit for violin or for cello or even both if you want to. Um, just specify when you order. Once you have used this sound adjustment kit there are a few things inside, not too much, but they're just for this kind of job and I wish I would have had something much earlier because before I thought the violin is what it is and that's it and then you have to wait until somebody passes by who is just searching this sound when actually it's not true every instrument even the one you have and some maker says you have to buy a new one before you buy a new one, try to figure out what's the limit of your instrument. Every instrument has its limit and it's certainly otherwise there wouldn't be uh, a Scala Perfetta, Linea Maki, uh, uh, Marco uh, or uh, whatever, you know. And you try to figure out your potential of your instrument. If your problem now is that it responds difficult, which means you play and the tone doesn't really come out how you want and some of your friends had a violin where you just put the bow and it sounds so quick and you said damn I need to buy a new violin then listen now it's all a question about the distance of the sound post and the bass bar inside of your instrument now how can you figure out where your bass bar which you didn't even know that exists right there is a small tiny jig inside the sound adjustment kit you go in through, uh, from the F hole you measure it and you look thank you Anna this tiny piece here, I have several measurements. This one is viola, then this one for violin, even for cello inside. With this one you tick and then you go next to the feet of your bridge and you can immediately see how far is this. You don't even have to measure it, you just have to look at it. And then you go from the other side and you look here. It's a little bit shorter here the distance. You can see me because I don't know where I am. Um, and I don't see anything, so now like this, and then you can go like this into the F hole, and then at a certain point it makes tick, and then there is something, and that something is actually inside the base bar. Okay, now you see the distance of the bridge feet and this tiny jig, right? And this distance you don't need to measure, you just have to look at it and you say okay this is a certain measurement. Now if I put it to the other side of the sound post you can look where it is and here you see definitely that it touches the sound post and this distance is definitely shorter. Which means that the sound post is too much outside. Could be that somebody moved it on this brand uh, temptation to get a super strong G string and it might be even very strong but the price you pay for that is that it's really difficult responding on all four strings. First we listen to Lena Yokoyama who took her bicycle, came to us here, she is living here in Cremona and is one of the best violinists here in Europe and worldwide. Nice. Come on. Nice. <laughs> now she gets red. She doesn't come to the camera anymore. Now we listen to that violin. Lena plays it and then I adjust the sound post and we listen again. Okay? Besides that a professional musician can play with every violin super great. But just watch her face while she's playing and listen to the quick tones on the A and the D string especially. And then listen later on and I'm sure you will hear a very net difference 
when I adjust it and it will respond slightly quicker. Okay, so now we are here. This here is this um, piece which you use uh, with lead light and then we made it a little bit thinner on the upside. We cut away so then can, you can even put it into the F-hole. Uh, but it, it, it's, it's so light. It's oh, So here we just put it like this. And now I with the mirror, I check here inside because I have my lines with my tiny jig as I showed you before I just think Ustriga, mamma mia this one is very much outside and we want it as on the other side that it is same distance right so we have like 1.5 millimeters and molto grande questo okay pensavo che avevo un altro okay and um, Now we move with this um, sound post a little bit more inside. There is also a small ruler inside in the sound adjustment kit. We loosen the E string. Sounds like a mosquito which is now and then I push with this one. First I get the sound post right and then I push it slightly inside okay that's it let me see how the whole thing worked out and where i am maybe i have to readjust it a little bit because here it looks like this very good we leave it like this and if i put it with this one oops if i i just want to show you if i put this one here that it is nicely one and a half millimeters inside as it should be also on the other side with the sound with the with the bass bar okay yeah so here the distance are more or less the same I know that Lena likes it a little bit more strong out she's a professional for a beginner I would probably go a little bit more inside in order that it is a little bit quicker responding than right now so you adjust it a little bit to the requirements of every musician yeah in the whole sound adjustment kit something else I just wanted I always repeat it and I repeat it because I know it is very important is that you measure with this meter I know you can find this meters all over but the, the distance of here to where the bridge is standing is extremely important okay and is 19.65 a little bit less even should be this distance otherwise it, you don't get to the right string length which is 32.8 Here you could hear very nice how it's quick responding and every tone on the uh, estate was very clear immediately um, to, to, to be listened. And you, you could see from her face that it was easier to play and it's nice, full and rich and nice. Okay? I hope you enjoyed also this video. Purchase my sound adjustment kit. See you next time. Ciao, ciao! Ciao, ciao!